Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation, presenting case 109 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case of myocardial infarction in a patient with COVID-19. The patient presented with chest discomfort and posterior MI, he had COVID-19 confirmed a few days prior to presentation. Coronary angiography did demonstrate a large thrombus within a sizable obtuse marginal branch. Interestingly enough, there was no other culprit lesion more proximally into the vessel. There are the concerns about COVID creating a prothrombotic condition without the body, which might have played a role in the large thrombus burden. But the question remains, what is the best treatment for this very large thrombus within the obtuse marginal branch? And this is the algorithm for managing thrombus from the manual of PCI. Management depends on whether there is flow or not. There are measures to prevent propagation of the thrombus, anticoagulation and antiplatelet therapy. This patient did receive unfractionated heparin and a glycoprotein 2B3 inhibitor. He was also loaded with ticagrelor. And then, how can we restore coronary flow? If there is undergrade flow, sometimes if there is a very large thrombus and no ongoing ischemia, Antithrombotic therapy can be given for 24 to 48 hours with then repeat angiography and PCI, but if there's ongoing ischemia or a small thrombus, then a thrombectomy is usually performed. So our patient did have a fairly large thrombus. He did have ongoing ischemia given ongoing chest discomfort. So we decided to perform thrombectomy. There are various options for thrombectomy, such as aspiration thrombectomy, use of the penumbra system, use a deeply seated guy catheter, not an option in this case that had uh, uh, the thrombus into a small vessel, or aspiration through a guide catheter extension. Sometimes placing a filter can help capture thrombus, or lasing through the thrombus can help recanalize the vessel. And then after thrombus is removed as much as possible, then balloon and stent are usually performed. In this case, given the large size of the thrombus, we decided to use thrombectomy with the penumbra system. Delivery was a little difficult, but eventually it was delivered into this obtuse marginal branch. However, after removing the system, there was actually worse flow. The thrombus remained, and there was worse flow than at baseline. We did another round, and still there remained a large filling defect, and actually we had lost the superior branch of the distal segment of the obtuse marginal. We decided to use a smaller catheter, this is a six French export aspiration thrombectomy catheter that could be delivered slightly more distally into that obtuse marginal. And unfortunately, we had the same problem, actually we have now complete, it's just a near complete cessation of flow. What to do? Sometimes when thrombectomy fails, one way to restore some undergrade flow is to perform balloon angioplasty or in some other times even stent implantation. This vessel was very small, so we used a 1.5 millimeter balloon to see if we can restore some flow. And indeed, after doing that, there was some flow going into the inferior branch of the distal portion of the vessel. Likely, this inflation fragmented the thrombus with some segment embolizing more distally into the superior branch. We repeated the thrombectomy with the penumbra system. And uh, this time, actually, we did have a little better result. Uh, we still are missing the superior branch, so we ended up rewiring with a workhorse guide wire, attempted to deliver the penumbra system as much as possible into that superior branch to restore as much flow as possible. And after doing that, we did have some flow, not perfect, but some flow into the superior branch as well. Given the small size of the vessel, we decided to not place any stents but instead uh, stopped the procedure at this point. The patient actually had uh, significant improvement in his chest discomfort. In summary, this is a case uh, highlighting some of the difficulties managing with intracoronary thrombus. Thrombectomy can make things worse. Penumbra and export actually completely stopped flowing the vessel, likely because of distal embolization. When that happens, the options for treatment are to do balloon angioplasty to give uh, vasodilators through a microcatheter so it can go through all the way to that portion of the vessel. And of course, to give aggressive antithrombotic and antiplatelet therapy to minimize the risk of propagation of the thrombus.
Also, this patient did have COVID-19. Therefore, it is possible that COVID-19 uh, contributed to the development of the thrombus. However, management remains as the standard management for large thrombus burden in every patient. Thank you.